Girls, what was the most obvious hint you dropped, and the guy just didn't get it? We were playing life and he was the police officer. The rule is, if you spin a 10, he gets your speeding fines. I literally pulled open my button down and exposed my breasts and said what can I do to get out of paying this? He said, Mom, I am an officer of the law. Are you trying to prostitute yourself to me? A couple days of flirting and sexual innuendo later I literally had to spell out that I was trying to f*** him. We've been together six years now. We were talking about canoes and I said I'm like a canoe because I'm wet and you can go inside me and he said canoes aren't really wet. He told me my hair looked nice. I said, bet it would look nicer with your hands in it. He said, in a very confused tone, dot you want me to style your hair? When my boyfriend and I had just started dating we were laying down watching a movie, but this was a small bed and he was being respectful and giving me space. I kept wiggling backwards so I could get closer to him and he kept inching backwards too. Since he thought I was just trying to get comfortable and he was in the way, he ended up sitting in a chair next to the bed. Three years later we are still together, and I still think it's pretty funny. He told me that when he was in the chair he purposefully left his hand next to me in case I wanted to hold it. But I guess I missed that sign too. He didn't get out of the bed because he was uncomfortable. He truly thought he was taking up too much space and didn't realize I was trying to cuddle. I threw my panties at him and he kept explaining God of War law. Man of culture. I'm the guy in this situation, but I couldn't help not sharing this story. In college, this girl I was really into asked if I wanted to hang out at my dorm and drink and watch Netflix. She came over and we were watching and drinking on the couch in the living room. Per my suggestion, things are going good, and about an hour into it she says ooh, let me see your room. So we go to my room. She takes her shoes and socks off and immediately sprawls herself out on my bed and says oh my god, your bed is so comfortable. I responded with we live in the same building, it's the same bed as yours. She left about 10 minutes later. After chatting for hours on top of a mountain from sunset until like 2 a.m., sharing a blanket, me leaning my head on his shoulder, telling him he's attractive, etc., he turns to me and says, how do you tell if a girl is into you? He suspected that you were hinting and gave you a way to confirm or deny. Good move on his part. I'm a guy but I once had an experience where I took the hint but still got rejected. A girl had asked me if I lost my virginity yet we were in high school. When I said I hadn't, she said that I could practice on her whenever I want. Mind you we walking home after school because we lived close. I try to act on this hint when we get to her house and she said she was only joking and doesn't want it to be weird with us as friends. Every guy's worst fear right here. I asked a guy on a festival to come take a shower with me, he didn't get it. He just repeated there was only one free shower and I was like well they are big I'm sure it's fine and he just looked confused and told me I could go first. We became close friends since that happened about two years ago and this summer I spoke to him about it and he really had no idea. He did the biggest face palm I've ever seen. Before my boyfriend asked me out. He kept hinting at the fact that we were both single and everyone though we would be cute together. I was like haha, yeah not realizing he was trying to ask me out. For Valentine's a couple of years ago, I mailed my husband a package. The note said, and I quote, I want you now. I was ready to spring into some extra fun sexy time whenever he opened the package. I had to sit him down and explain a couple of hours later. He was like oh. Yeah, my wife's learned to just holler come to bed now. Otherwise I'm a dumbass that doesn't get it. So answering in lieu of my late wife here I husband am dumb. Like, really dumb. She and I met and became friends very quickly. But I didn't know she apparently had a huge crush on me. I thought she was out of my league. And apparently she thought I was out of her league too. But she couldn't stop the feels. She rubbed her feet on me while we were talking. Asked me in detail about my package. Gave me her phone number with the line hit me up if you want pizza and sex. We went out for lunch. She offered to fillet me for a Dr. Pepper. And she was very insistent that we got meat lovers pizza when I asked her what she wanted for watching a movie later. After we watched the movie she was in my bed. I figured she was just wanting to keep warm and cuddle. But she strutted into my bathroom stark naked and I had some DDs staring at me. She kissed me and told me I want you to f*** 
me. You idiot. A regular romance story there. In my defense, she had a really warped sense of humor and I thought she was kidding with all that stuff. It felt so natural with us being friends that the thought didn't even cross my mind until she propositioned me that there was potential for more. I'd had some really f***ed up exes and I thought romance was something where I had to jump through hoops for the other person and wait on them hand on foot. But she was different. That's why she was the one who I got on one knee for. Advice to the ladies out there. If my wife telling me I want you to f*** me got through my legendarily thick skull, I think as a last resort that'll get through to anybody. On our first date, my current boyfriend and I went out to dinner, to a bar, and eventually back to his house to watch scary movies. After hanging out for almost eight hours at that point, practically cuddling into him the entire time we were watching movies, dropping as many hints as I could, around 3 a.m. when we were both fighting to stay awake, I finally had to look his dumbass in the eye and ask, so are you going to kiss me or not? Though he was totally oblivious, it did show his good heart. He was about to let me me fall asleep on his couch and spend the night without even trying to kiss me. I knew he was a keeper after that. A couple of weeks ago to my boyfriend of three years. Me, undresses and lays naked on the couch. Waiting to bone. Him, makes dumb joke. Ooh you're naked. That's so weird. Me, dies a little bit inside guy here but once had a girl drag me into the bathroom while at a college party saying she needed help finding her marker pen. We didn't find it and I figured out what was really going on a year later. It was in her butthole. I'm not as brutally upfront as some of these people but mine happened yesterday. How do I know a girl is flirting with me? He asks. She touches you a lot while you two are talking. I cannot relate at all. That never happens to me. I'm sure it does. I tell him and hit his arm. I can't think of any time that's ever happened. See, this is a rough one. Because I had this one girl I'd talk to all the time, and she'd sit next to me in class one had a huge crush on her, and she'd be overly touchy all the time. She'd occasionally even rest her head on my shoulder, sleep on it during class when she was tired, just stare into my eyes for prolonged periods of time, and hug me. When I told her I had a crush on her, she shut me down completely, and told me she only saw me as a friend. Complained I was a bit cold, so he gave me a blanket. I then told him there's space for two under the blanket in an obvious flirting tone. He answered with no thanks. I'm not cold. I still tease him with it once in a while we're married now. Before we started dating, I told my current boyfriend I love you and he said or I love you too you're such a good friend. The whole time we thought we were both friends owning each other. Wasted half a year going in circles smh. One time a girl straight up asked if I wanted to take my pants off and I didn't get it. I was like, nah, they're actually not uncomfortable at all. Invited him over to watch a movie eventually laying my legs across his lap and hard flirting but after four movies I had to finally make the move. Four movies in one night. Or like four evenings spread over a few weeks. Both seems astonishingly long time to get your hints. I am a guy, but I can share my density as the guy that missed the hints. I went to a store where there was a girl I liked in college. We used to small talk while I browsed and never bought anything. Bring a poor college student. This time I came in the store and she said I and we chatted a bit while I shopped. She complained. I'm going to be home alone tonight. My family is out of town. I replied. Oh that's too bad. She says. I'm off at 5 today it was 4 at the time. What are you up tonight? I'm up for anything. Oh nothing. Just sitting at home and watching a movie. My brain must have completely self-destructed. Because the conversation ended there. I never saw her again after that. She either quit. Or was avoiding me. I must have been in a daze from school to miss that cue. We were discussing costumes and I sent a picture of me in my bunny suit and said I'd need help out of it. His response was telling me he hoped my roommate was home or that would suck. I had to tell him I was implying I'd like him to take it off me and it took him a minute to catch up. 
Guy here, was invited back to study by one of the girls in my class at her apartment. We're about half hour in and she says she might take a shower. I'm like okay, kinda random, but okay. Anyway she starts telling me the door to the shower is broken so don't come in. Says it three or four more times. Again, I'm like okay, weird she said that multiple times, but okay. Hour later the shower is still running. I can hear her singing and humming away so I know she's okay and hasn't drowned. Thinking gee that's a long shower though. Water goes off and she comes out dressed and says you didn't come in. I'm confused as I'm like WTF she told me not to. She sits back down, clearly distracted and not wanting to study. We wrap up after 5 minutes. Drive home. Mate asks me how study was about a week later and the situation, which I hadn't given a single brain cell of thought to since, I explained to him. As I'm saying it out loud the penny drops as to what a big fuckhead I am. She's the idiot, not you. She literally told you not to come in. It's entirely reasonable not to come in. Can you believe that creep of pervert came in after I told him four times not to? Literally said I want to be yours and the dude just keeps smiling and goes on about random space facts. That one hurt a bit. What was the coolest space fact? He invited me to his house to watch a movie after a few dates. He ended up playing League of Legends for hours while I was laying in his bed and asked him many times if he would like to join. Sorry just one more match we dated for two years. Not a girl. But I was staying a night at a hotel. And the hotel bar had just closed. I went out front for a smoke and start chatting with two women. We shoot the shit for a few minutes and then all head back into the hotel and to the elevator. We get in. They press 15. I press 9. And one of them turns to me and says I don't suppose there's a secret bar on the ninth floor we can go to. My dumb ass respos. No. But you can grab a cab and be at a bar in 10 minutes. Then the doors open and I leave. We matched on Bumble dating app that the girl has to talk first and I started a convo with him. He thought I just matched him because we were friends. Er uh, no it's a dating app. We didn't start dating until almost a year after that. We are married now. He thought I just matched him because we were friends. Er uh, no it's a dating app. You'd be surprised at the number of women who have profiles on Tinder and the like for finding friends only. If you're looking for a girlfriend or sex go away. Also, I've matched with friends before and she'd always be like lol I didn't realize that you were on Tinder. And when I start flirting they'd be like oh no I'm not interested in you like that. My fiancé thinks leaving my bedroom door open when she spent the night. When we were just friends. And she lived out of town. And there was absolutely no reason for me to think anything romantic was going on. Was obvious. I got up and closed the door because the AC was on and was low-key miffed. Do you know how creepy it would be if you tried to hope into bed without her asking if she wasn't into you? This is exactly what I said. Ha ha. I had a girl go out with me after work once for dinner, have some drinks, go back to my house, get too drunk to drive home so I put her to bed in the spare room and never even attempted to kiss her. She left in the morning early and hated me after that. It was after work so she followed me back to my house in her own car. That was the obvious hint I missed is what I assume now. She was mad you didn't try to sleep with her when she was drunk. Sounds like you exercised common sense. I went out of my way to come in early and talk to this guy every day for like a month before someone else told him I was into him. I also repeatedly told him I liked him. He thought I was just being nice. When a girl admits to liking you a guy faces a dilemma one you could be joking and pulling his leg. Two you just sympathize for him. Or you like him as a friend and that's it. When I was about 35, I lived in a beach town near a university. My neighbors were all college kids. Next door was two college girls. One was always flirting with me. One hit summer day. She turned up at my door in nothing but a long t-shirt. She asked if she could hang out in the A.C. I said sure and she came over to the sofa I was sitting long ways on and laid with her back to my chest and asked if we could snuggle. I was okay with that. She then asked me to rub her belly, which I did. As you can imagine, after about an hour, I was getting a little worked up and touched her breast. While rubbing her belly, she jumped up and stormed out. I was like WTF. She later said she didn't see me like that. 
I asked her why she'd show up almost naked, lay between my legs like couples do and asked my to rub her belly and then get pissed when I try to progress things. She said she looks at me like a big brother. I was like WTF is your family like? And that is why so many guys in this thread didn't get the hints. It isn't a universal thing. Reading these posts has gotten me even more confused I am a guy in my 30s. Basically 70% of the top replies has happened to me a lot except the super obvious ones where the girl is making a physical move, hugs, kiss. But the couple of times I've actually made the move, nope. They just want to be friend. FML I guess. I had a girl invite me round her house once just to show me her posters. They were all of Harley Davidson motorbikes. And she said she's never ridden a Harley before. Awkward silence and after a few other sort bits of small talk I decided to be on my way. Two years later I'm sitting on the bus and realize what she meant. Harley. Ridden a Harley. My name is Harley. I used to be oblivious. Probably still am. There was a girl at a local grocery store who was flirting with me but of course. I didn't get it. After quite a bit of this. I leave town for a few months and were corresponding via email. I can't remember why. But I was asking her a string of silly questions. Like. Why is the sky blue? Chicken or the egg first? Where do babies come from? Etc. She answered them all. Saving where the babies come from for last and answered it with. When you get back I'm going to show you. I got that one. 